Hey, what's up, guys? This is Crafty Fox, and today we're going to be building Boko from Thomas Friends. So, Boko is a mixed traffic diesel engine that works on Edwards Branch Line, and he's actually named after a wheel arrangement, which is a Ko Bo, which is backwards. So, this is Ko, and this is Bo. You see, there's six wheels in the front, uh, four wheels in the back. And yeah, he does look a lot like Daisy, and I actually think they, um, they put Daisy's face on Boko a few times or something like that. <laughs> At least that's what I heard. Uh, but yeah, he is pretty old school Tom's friends. And let's get started on this build. So first thing we're going to do, let's add the front buffer. So we're going to go uh, take our red wool. It looks like three blocks above the tracks. We're going to place red wool in the middle. Make it three blocks wide. And on the ends, let's add a piston like this. Add a red wool in the back of the piston. Then we're going to take black wool, fill in the middle three, and we're going to make this uh, 38 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3 4, 3, 5, 3, 6, 3, 7, 3, 8, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. Now let's uh, fill in the rest of this black wool all the way back and I just heard a cave noise alright so after we do the black wool part we're gonna go to the back and do the same exact thing with the red wool three in the middle add pistons on the sides uh, red wool after the piston like this and acacia wood slab after the red wool so we have it on, on uh, all four corners and we also need to extract the piston so we're going to take uh, this uh, lever add it right below here under the red wool just pull it down so we have that sticking out and also we're going to have one in the middle like this with nether brick um, fences on either side of it do the same thing Right here, pull it down, pull it down, now the brick fences. Alright, so next we're going to take a block of quartz, add a 2 by, actually a 3 by 5 in the front for his face. So his face is actually, uh, I think, smaller than the Daisy model because he is shorter. Um, I'm not sure. If I should redo the daisy model though, because I feel like that might be too tall. So this is, I believe this is actually one block shorter than the daisy one that I did. Which could be more accurate. Alright, so that's his face. And then we're going to take a lime concrete. And we're going to add this 3 by 5 right after it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3 blocks tall. Like this. Have it on uh, both sides. Then we're going to go to the back. And let's add this, what is this, 4x5 for his face. There's no face in the back, so it just looks like a plain lime wall. Like so. And then we're going to add three blocks in the middle, like this. Go to the other side and we're going to add another layer right here. Then three blocks in the middle for that one. Then we're going to take a black stained glass block, add two block tall pillars like this on the sides and in the middle. And add lime around the middle, one like this. Go to the other side and repeat the process once again. Placing our uh, black stained glass blocks and the lime around the window in the middle. And there also is an additional windows on the sides right here in the front. So we're going to add that using lime again. Uh, let's add two more to the bottom like this. Then add a pillar right here. Another window. A pillar. And another window. Go to the other side, 
add a pillar and just one more window after that all right so then we're gonna add um, we need to add this thing on the side I believe that's numbers so just add uh, with the quartz block just add that right there I just said add like five times <laughs> then we're gonna take lime wool and then we're gonna use it for the vents so it's kinda like the same color but it's like it has more texture to it which is great and we're gonna have it so that is four blocks long so one two three four and I believe there's yeah I just made the same on both sides and it will be as tall as the other windows going back on top All right, so after we finish this vent, we're gonna add a three block long lime concrete after that. Make it as tall as the rest. Okay, so after you do that, there will be this section which is two blocks tall and about six or seven. I think it's seven, yeah, seven. So it's a two by seven at the top. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Finish the rest. And you just copy it. Then the bottom section is just gonna be all lime again. So just do that continuously. And the other side. Boko is a pretty long locomotive, so it's gonna take us a while. All right, and one more right here. All right, so after you do that, let's go to the other side. Fill it in under this window. And we're gonna add a three blocks long after that with the lime concrete once again. I think there was a vent, yeah, there's a vent right there. There's also a little detail that I never noticed, <laughs> which is replicated with this pumpkin, which is like the first time I'm gonna use a pumpkin on a train, which is weird. But there is some kind of decal right there, so we're just gonna add a pumpkin right here, if I could place it. You need a block to place it, apparently. So just place it right there. It's like three blocks up from this part. Have it on uh, both sides. It's nice to have a pumpkin in your train. And let's have this section right here. It's uh, seven blocks long once again, I believe. So two by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Fill that in with the lime wool. Same thing on the other side. And the rest of this should just be lime concrete. So just Go on in, fill in the bottom layer first, then make yourself, well, make your way up. I believe that's the term you use. What am I saying, make yourself? All right. So there's a lot of placing of the lime concrete. And the, then the side. And after this, this is like halfway into the tour. We still have a lot way to go even after we're finished with this wall. Because you need to add the bogies and the roof and some more details. Alright, so after we place the last block of this wall, uh, we're going to have to add uh, this part of the roof, which is quartz stairs and line it up on the sides like this just go across line it up may take you a while and then you know I'm gonna miss some of them I'll just go back to them later <laughs> I wonder if there's like a skill to this 
where you place it perfectly, but I don't have that skill. Oh no, I missed this one. And the last one. Okay, so after you do that part, uh, we're going to take white carpet, add it above the edges right there on the green and the window that sticks up. And the rest of the roof is just quartz slab down here. Just line that up, filling it all in all the way. You can see the nice blue sky above us, which is why I like shaders. They got new, <laughs> I mean, a better sky than the default Minecraft one. Just more realistic. Uh, doesn't look very Minecrafty, but still, it's pretty nice. All right. Okay, we're almost done. With the roof. Now we're done. Now we're gonna add these things, these little details on top. So we're gonna go to this vent right here. Add two blocks of trap doors like that in the middle, skip a block and add four. So one, two, three, four. Then we're gonna go to this fan in the back and add two at the beginning of it in the middle. So that's our detail on top. We can also add some side detail with the iron bars. There's gonna be a doorway over here, I believe. Uh, to do that, uh, we're just gonna add one right here underneath this part actually it doesn't make sense where it is but yeah actually I believe there might be like an invisible door because I just looked at the reference and there seems to be a do invisible doorway right there and have it on uh, both sides okay so after you do that we need to work on the bottom section which is pretty complicated <laughs> So uh, well, let's just make this kind of simple. Um, let's start over here with this acacia wood slab. Now we're gonna add three blocks of uh, black wool at the bottom like that. And then uh, we're gonna add the first wheel. So just add, it's kind of hard to see with this, but we're gonna add this uh, T shape using the black uh, wool like this and how many blocks is that? Is that like three blocks? One, two, three. Okay, so it is three blocks. So just add three blocks of black wool. One, two, three. And add another T shape to it. Like this. So that is very hard to see. Let me change up the shader so it's a little bit easier. Okay, so you should be able to see it better now. And now we're going to repeat it again. One, two, three. One, two, three, and another T-shape. Have that stick out. Uh, now we're gonna add the bottom part, which is another bricks uh, stairs like this. And just have it like this. Wheels are pretty spread apart. Yeah, let's do the same thing on the other side. first t-shape right there then three blocks of black wool another t-shape right here three blocks of black wool and another t-shape and then let's add the bottom uh, curves to these wheels and you'll be noticing there's a bracket in the front that's fine we actually want that and <laughs> Then we're gonna have to add this bedrock right here in the middle three, so just add it right there between it, I believe. Yeah, that's how you do it. So there's gonna be two of those. Have it on both sides. Like so. And then we're gonna take um, another brick slab and add it at the very bottom of the wheels in the middle of the last wheel to the first wheel that. Then we're going to take nether brick stairs. And wow, that is just kind of complicated. <laughs> just have it curve inwards like this on the outer edges. Then the one in the middle, it curves outwards like this. Then add black wool in the middle of that. 
All right, let's try to do the same thing on the other side. So first thing is adding, what did I add? Oh yeah, the slabs at the bottom. Like that, connect them all together. And then I added the stairs so they face inwards at the edges. Well, did I do that right? Yeah, at the edges of the bedrock, I add the nether brick stairs, so it should have been like this. Okay, good. And then I added it facing outwards in the middle of these bedrocks with the black wall in the middle. Wow, okay. <laughs> We're not done yet. Still a lot more to do. I actually did add the top of the wheel, so if you want to do that, we can carve that out. So there's our first wheel. Then we're going to try to find the second wheel right here. Place the corners for that. Then the last wheel right here. Add the corners. Go to the other side and add the corners as well. So try to find it. There's one right here. Another one right here. And the one in the back there. Okay. And yeah, just keep on adding these uh, corners for the wheels and that looks like that's the last one on this side now after we do that uh, we're going to take this um, nether brick slab and add it in the middle of the top section so right here to the middle of the back wheel like so go do the same thing on the other side Right there and then we're going to add a black wool connecting this part so it's like three blocks long like this and also add one in the back three blocks long then we're going to connect the sections together all the way around like that so it looks pretty nice all right so that's like the first bogey which takes a really long time now let's add the bogey in the other side it's pretty similar um so yeah let's go do it so three blocks of black wool at the bottom, like this. Then we're going to add a T-shape. Right here, three blocks. Like this. I think that's how you do it. All right, and then three blocks of black wool. So one, let me place it one, two, three. One, two, three. Then the other wheel, so just add another T-shape. Same thing on the other side. And let's add the corners for the wheel. So just add the bottom first. And you know, this time I'm going to do the top section. So it's going to make our lives a lot easier if we do it like that. So we're going to add the top section too. Do the same thing on the other side. And the top, once again, just trying to add that circular shape to it. Even though it's Minecraft, you can't really make circles. All right, so after you do that, let's add the slabs from the middle of the first wheel to the middle of the back wheel. Let me do actually the top and the bottom this time since they're pretty much the same thing, just like in a different elevation. So the bottom section, then the top section. And then we're going to add uh, this, um, what is it called? Bedrock. Okay, three bedrocks in the middle of the wheel. So one, two, three. 
then uh, this nether brick stairs facing inwards right next to the bedrock. Both sides. So three in the middle. So let's add the inwards bedrock stairs. I mean, not the bedrock stairs, the nether brick stairs. And the black wool surrounding it like so. Just add three around and also three in the back. Wrap it around these wheels pretty much go on the other side like this like this uh. all right now we're gonna have uh this section right here this could be the last part so be happy uh this is two blocks let me just check if it's the same on both sides it is so that's good so two blocks of lime concrete right here it's going to be a gap of space between that and this thing. So two of them and then skip with one and then add three. And then we're going to add stone brick slab right underneath it. And then also stone brick stairs facing down towards the front. Go to the other side and pretty much repeat the same thing. So two, skip one, three. Then stone brick slabs underneath it. And then stone brick stairs upside down facing the front. Alright, so finally we are done with Boko from Thomas Friends. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do, please remember to hit that like button below and subscribe if you had already because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.